a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends change the future of the movie podcast game forever. The reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement, the Have You Seen It podcast. Wow. I still get chills. You still? Still to this day? Wow, it hasn't hit you yet, huh? I still get chills. It still hasn't fully sunk in. You know, when you hear an artist like Chuck Fresh... Just producing the the best uh, audio You never really get used to it, no. No, you don't. Are we picking up audio? It's one of a kind. Uh, Testing. Yeah, no, we are. Okay. It's It's not following. I just wanted to make sure. There we go. Yeah, well, scare me. We've done it before. We, we have done have. it before where we'll literally go 45 minutes and then be yeah. like, uh, the audio is not recording. This is an issue. But no, we're definitely, we we're are definitely, definitely recording. recording here. Welcome to the Have You Seen It podcast. My name is Mason Knight, joined here with the one and only Cash Krause. Cash Krause. That's right. How's it going, Mason? Going, it's going well, man. How about yourself? This is, it's uh, a snowmageddon on the West Coast it is. right now. People are panicking. They're the, in a panic. The entire state has slipped into chaos. Absolutely. It's anarchy chaos. out there. Pandemonium. Yeah. yeah. I saw a man on the corner of the street uh, trading his daughter for a dozen for eggs. For bread and milk. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's, cha- it's a it's barter nuts. system now. It it's it's uh, for two inches of snow. People are the, really <laughs> losing their shit, right? Yeah. You would have thought, yeah. I mean, uh, polar vortex in the Midwest, please. That's nothing compared to what we yeah, had going on it's, here. It's just pure insanity. Yeah. Uh, did you see the footage of people like ransacking? Yeah, like, the, the, the stores, stores and stuff? Further. Well, dude, even and then the it, Woodland one yeah, was empty. Yeah. I'm like, really? Everyone calm down. And then it We're literally gonna survive. barely snowed at all. At all. At all like, There's right. less than two inches out there right now. There's none. It's. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, it's pretty much all not, melted, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, everything shut down though, and uh, but we survived. I saw one picture in uh, near Portland, Oregon, where yeah. Fred Myers was completely decimated. Yeah. It looked like the zombie apocalypse hit that store, dude. Yeah, I saw people were fighting yeah. over fucking loaves of bread. You would, oh man. Well, and it doesn't help that that uh, Washington State declared uh, an emergency. A state emergency. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Well, that still doesn't, make, panic. still doesn't make much sense for the people in Portland. Although <laughs> yeah, in Portland... But Portland's getting Por- hit hard, you know, harder than us right now. No, they're not. Portland? No, it's the, there's just a Washington State emergency. There's not one in Portland Oh, right no, now. there's not one in Oregon. No. no, it's just for Washington right now. But I mean, as far as like accidents and stuff in Portland. Oh, well, You mean, see that semi that crushed that car? I'm my like, uncle oh. just sent me a video in Longview. It's dumping snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a shit ton. That's yeah. crazy. It's probably on our way here. God, I hope not. I hope so. I just you like snow. I do. I do like the snow, but I just you, it's usually you know we get it's one and done. We get one yep, big snow. Yeah, we get snow. one it's, snowstorm it's and then it's over. Yeah, it's gonna happen yeah. eventually. So we might as well just get it over with, right? That's true. But why in February? I would have. I would have much rather wanted it in like December or January. During yeah, Christmas but I'd rather shit. it February than April or March or some shit. Yeah, some crazy yeah. July snowstorm. Right. That would just be completely and utterly unacceptable. Yeah. I'd have to have a word with the man upstairs about that. Ken? Yeah, Ken. <laughs> yeah, have a word with him, too, yeah. See how he feels on the snow yeah. situation, yeah. I'm always, I'm always looking for Ken Dog's hot takes. He's a meteorologist. He I is. mean, he's, he's an amateur Dude, meteorologist. Dude, that guy watches the news more than most people. It's, he it's knows strange. the weather. He can feel a storm coming miles off in wow. his bones. Deep Maybe it's, his that's bones. a glass situation. Maybe he is a superhero. Oh, is that it's his a superpower? Power? Yeah. I was just feeling the weather out. You better hope that's not a glass situation. Yeah, Because what's her name will come down here and lock him up. Yeah, Sarah Paulson. Yeah, yeah no, thank you. She'll fuck him up. Yeah. She will. <laughs> She'll kill him, no doubt. But uh, what what are we here to uh, talk about today? Well, this is our movie news edition. This is High Psy Movie News, yeah. where we gather. We gather. Combine our... our, our uh, 
our personalities, and we Correct. talk about everything that's happened. Everything. Everything. Anything that's worth talking about, we Anything. talk about it. Yep. So, uh, well, what do you, what do you, <laughs> we got to talk okay, about. Yeah. So we got to talk about the main one that just yeah. came out, breaking. Just, this is breaking news. Yeah, it is breaking This is for the podcast. absolutely yeah. breaking and we'll, news. We'll be releasing this episode tomorrow morning. Yeah. Actually, tonight at midnight, so. It'll still be somewhat it'll breaking. It'll be out. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they finally showed, and we're looking at it right now. Yes, we are. <laughs> in all <laughs> its glory, in all of its blue, On, blue glory. Yes. They finally revealed Will Smith as the genie, and he is definitely blue. He's definitely blue. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. They did not go easy on this blue. No, either. it looks... Uh, I don't know, It's man. just comical looking. It's horrible. For I wish... One, his head look, is like huge. It looks like he's wearing like a bald cap. I thought he was yeah. already bald. Right. Why, why did he Some not? bald cap seemed a little unnecessary. <laughs> but uh, it looks like... It looks like they recorded it and then redid it, like, and made him super blue or something. Yeah. It looks horrible. It, it doesn't look good. It looks very bad. Well, that's confusing to me, too, because it seems like they try to do two different things in this image, where it was like they were trying to make him human, but then trying to make him a genie. It's like, choose one or the other. Where he, he just ends well, up let's looking not do weird. This, yeah. It just looks where like it's like this half breed, <laughs> you know? I don't like it. He's, uh... It's like, is he a genie or he a He is human? big. It looks like he's been, uh pumping the weights for this yeah he doesn't have that dad bod that you were talking about for bad boys three he's kind of got a genie uh he's got a genie genie bod bod, yeah which is a little bit better than a dad bod i suppose but uh this is not looking good no so far aladdin is not up there it and not on my like to go list you know i'm not super excited why make him blue i don't know (laughs) the genies have to be blue now I guess that's the only way it is. Since, I mean, not really. I mean, since Aladdin, Aladdin's the only one that's ever made a genie. What was blue. that great genie film with Shaq? Kazam. Kazam. God, oh yeah, that movie Kazam so good. was so good. Great it really soundtrack. was. It actually was a good movie. <laughs> it I is loved not. It. You obviously haven't seen it in a very long time. No, it's terrible. No, <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's horrible. Terrible, even but it's when good. I was a kid. It's, no, no, no. Even when I, <laughs> even when I was a kid, I was watching like this shit it sucks. So and that's what Shaq bad, was in his prime. It's good. Yeah. It's so bad. It's good. Sometimes you got to watch those movies, and you gotta you gotta appreciate them. I, would I just love, watched Space Jam on Hulu. I love a Kazam. Space Jam holds up, dude. It holds Space up. Jam holds up. It's good. It's a lot better than Kazam though. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but I would kill for a Kazam reboot. Absolutely. The Rock? Bring The Rock in? No. Or another on. basketball player? No, let's do Shaq again. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Why not? Yeah, not why not bring anything. Giannis? Let Giannis do it. No, you need another big another big guy. Uh, yeah, center. Another horrible, horrible actor. But Shaq was... Shaq rapped at the time, so he had that good for him. And he rapped in, he raps in Kazam. Mm-hmm. He has a genie rap. Right. That's what we need to see. They should have had Shaq play the new genie. Made him blue. I gotta ask, what, what's the deal with all these Disney live actions? Some of them I'm all for, but some of them I'm starting to ask, like, what, do we really need this? They're cashing so, like, in on the, 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 us fucking millennials. Well, I know, but this next topic I'm, I'm gonna bring up, the Nightmare Before Christmas live action remake may now happen. Yeah. Do we need a live action of, no. of the Night Before I Christmas? I fucking love the Nightmare Before Christmas, so I no, will, it's great. I'm adamant right. in saying we have, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. We do. How would you even make, they're all, Cartoonish character. I know. How do you make so it? So how Jack do you make Skeleton? it a live action? I Don't have tell no me idea. Johnny Depp is going to be Just in there. Just an and... insurmountable amount of CGI. I guess I you can paint him white, like they painted uh, Will Smith blue. A yeah. Jack Skeleton. Paint yeah. him white. The white face. That's true. Could uh, be borderline racist. Yeah, it could be. That that might be an issue too. <laughs> some people are uh, getting some heat for that. Yeah, but I don't understand. How could you do? I mean, the main character is a skeleton. How do you do that? I guess a live action skeleton. <laughs> I suppose. I, guess, I don't I know. So. Like a CGI skeleton is just not good. But, but uh, we're also hypocrites, Cash. And why is that? Because... Because we just watched... Well, I just watched, but you told me to watch it. The the new Dumbo trailer. Oh, and yeah. how fucking good well, does for this one, look? Again, Dumbo was made in the 60s. It was not a 90s film. Right. So it's due for... Although, of course, it's there has been Dumbo remakes and reboots. But it's, it's due for live action. It is. For it sure, is. and it and, looks. And who better good. than Tim Burton to do a live action Dumbo? Yeah. Come on, man, who's better than that? But uh, yeah, it's the the newest trailer we saw it showed a little more of the comedy side, where the other ones have been uh-huh. a little darker. Yeah, but you you know it's going to be dark from coming from oh, Tim. Of course, Burton. it's. But Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton, 
Colin I look Farrell. To it. Yeah, yeah. Colin Farrell. I look forward oh, so to am it. I. It looks awesome. In the way it was shot too, just those, yeah. just those, just those shots alone in the trailer. And I we've talked like, about it wow, before. The original aesthetically Dumbo pleasing is fucking freaky. The well, original, the original, oh, the original Dumbo, Dumbo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's very dark too. It has a lot of dark elements in the original oh, Dumbo, yeah, yeah. where where even as a kid you didn't realize it, but w- going back and watching it, you're like, no. whoa. There's a horrifying dream sequence in Dumbo, with the pink elephants and everything, where yeah. Dumbo gets drunk. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's horrifying. It is it terrible. Is. But Tim Burns are gonna take full advantage of that. And like you said, the world, the world building looks amazing. It that does. That circus life. Yeah, the and circus. Everything. Yeah, yeah, I actually felt. I love that in 1930s esque. It, it's awesome. Before and Michael we Keen found looks out like all the terrible it. things that circuses actually do oh, they're to horrible animals. Places. Animals and to people. Yeah. Back then. The, extremely You abusive. did not want to be a freak. Back no, then. you didn't. I know. <laughs> the way they treated them, too, is, is horrible. Yeah. Terrible. That's why I was kind of outraged with that uh, movie that came out with Hugh Jackman about <laughs> oh, him. The Greatest Showman. About him playing uh, Barman Bailey, who was like the world's first con man. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, I was horrible. Oh, so it wasn't The Greatest Showman. Or was it? That was that was the yeah, movie that, that was yeah movie. that was the yeah, movie that the he was supposed showman. to be portraying. Yeah, he's oh, portraying okay. a real guy who started. I've never seen that one, but everyone freaks out about it. They sing the soundtrack. It was I'm not like, good. What was so good it was about this? not good. The CGI was horrible. It wow. was not a good film by any means. But uh, yeah, that's showing circus like that. That's just as far as I know, the circus was not a great place to be no, unless you were the ring. Uh, yeah, unless yeah, the lead yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you could see look how shitty they treated Dumbo. They didn't treat him well. No, for those big years, beautiful years. He's freaking adorable too. Makes me mad. Yeah, how do? You... Why'd you treat such a cute animal like that? What are this? They uh, they they released the new Terminator, uh, title. You know what? You're not excited about this cash, but I am. I am excited. Stoked. I'm excited for, for this. this one. Tim Miller, director of Deadpool, is directing it. Ex- yep. Uh, and they're saying that anything after Terminator Two doesn't exist. So they're Halloweening it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're not even Genesis, the Gen- last no, one they did. No Terminator Three, no Genesis, no none of that. Which oh, thank okay. God, because it at that point the storyline is so insanely convoluted, convoluted you don't know with what the, the time hell? travel, yeah. especially if we turn Terminator Genesis, where it seemed like people were just going back. Yeah, they're and forth just going back. Time. Yeah, we're like, hold on, what's real? What's reality? What is any of this? But I am. It's it's Terminator Dark Fate, which a pretty generic sequel title. Mm-hmm. I would say. <laughs> With especially with X Men Dark Phoenix coming out, and, but Sarah Connor looks dope. Sarah Connor coming back, Arnold yeah. coming back, uh, a few new people, and Tim Miller direct, and uh, James Cameron is exec- executive producing it. But it's the first one he's been involved in since Terminator Two: Judgment Day. Really, everything since then has he has well, any part. Well, that's true because take a look at that poster. Yeah. Actually, that's just the original Terminator, but still. Yeah, anything after Terminator Two, he didn't have any part in, but he's all in it now. Yeah, man, he's I really fucking... like. I really have a a good feeling about this. I do. I think. <laughs> I think when you get the right team. Oh yeah, the to right rehash team. these new movies like Halloween. How surprised were we by Halloween? It was incredible. I mean, yeah. not super surprised. But, I had a feeling because Danny Halloween McBride was, and yeah. stuff, but I also have that same feeling with this Terminator. Well, this is like uh, Halloween, where it's it's. A reboot, you know, it's not mm-hmm. a sequel or whatever, right. but it is following the second one. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. You know what? We have not talked about Martin Scorsese in a while, so I'd like to bring this up. Sure. It's it's real quick news, but uh, he insists that The Irishman coming out here very shortly in 2019, uh, pray that everything goes well, uh, but it's not a rehashing of Goodfellas. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not the same well, people. I mean, but yeah, it, yeah. It's a completely different story. Yeah, I know that. Did you see Joe Pesci did a Google commercial? I did see that, yeah, for Home Alone. Yeah, that was awesome. How much money did they have to pay him for oh, that? That was a know, Super Bowl commercial. Uh, exactly. I, yeah, you know I they didn't paid watch him so an arm and a yeah. leg for that. And he hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything. He's just retired. So yeah. still looks good, though. Pesci's doing The Irishman, though. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I, I mean, brought it up. That's yeah. what IMDb said. So, oh, he's yeah, doing Pesci yeah. will be in The Ir- Irishman, which is awesome. I love, that, I love Martin Scorsese, and I love when he works with all these guys, man. Yeah, but that's Cannot that's the wait. first movie he's been. That's in that commercial is the first movie I've seen him in since for ten years or whatever. Yeah, but, I haven't uh, seen him in anything. He still anything. looks good, and he still scares the shit out of me. He does. He still looks like he's just ready to explode and beat the shit out of you at any point. Uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger reaffirms that they're gonna. 
because you know they're merging with Fox. Yes, they are. And they're going to say they're going to keep making R-rated Alien and Deadpool movies. I saw that. Thank and stuff God. Like that. Yeah. Thank you. That's Disney what they for say. Not... That's what they say, though. Yeah, but you know, I, I think with all the money that all of those, the both franchises have made, especially Deadpool. Yeah. I, I don't see them doing a PG-13. I think they'd really piss off their audience, and they know better. Yeah. They should know better. Hopefully, yeah. they don't. Yeah, you can't make an Alien movie without making it rated R. Yeah, I mean, what would be the what would be the point? Did you like Alien Covenant? I thought it was pretty good. I yeah, liked it a lot. I, I know you liked it yeah, a lot. You I liked really it more did. than I did. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it a lot more than, uh, what was the Alien before that? Oh, God. Pre- Not Alien versus Predator. It, it wasn't, uh, <laughs> it's something with the P. No, yeah, uh, uh, Pro- uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. I liked it a lot more than Prometheus. Yeah. I did not like Prometheus right. at all. Yeah, uh, but I really liked how they tied it in to yeah. Prometheus, to where it was making sense. I would sense. like to see where it was going, yeah. Yeah. Did you see acclaimed Mr. Rogers documentary? They aired it on PBS for free last last night. I did not know that, no. Oh, you haven't seen it yet, have you? I haven't seen Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood either. That doc- Oh, the documentary you're referring That's to. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, yeah. No, Will I haven't seen neighbor? it yet. Yeah, they premiered it on PBS last night. God. And you didn't text me and let me know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, cool because HBO bought the rights for it, but they still let PBS because you know that's where Mr. Rogers yeah, got started, yeah. which is that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. what he would have wanted because he was always always about public broadcasting. There are but if you still cry, good people in the world. If Cash. you want to cry, I know. Watch that fucking movie. Oh my! You know, Mr. God. Rogers was revolutionary, man. He really was. Oh yeah, and his approach to just so many things and the way that he taught us. Like, but the documentary gets really into like. It shows a lot about a show, but it shows about his side and how how he went through it ever and everything, and yeah. how he how that show was kind of a way for him to come out of his shell and like it was kind of therapy for him. Yeah, with the way he made the puppets and everything, where they're all kind of extensions of himself. That he, it's good, man. It's fucking good. I know I gotta watch it. I do have HBO though, so um, is it on HBO right now? Uh, I'm not sure if it came on, but it's going on there. Yeah. They have the rights for it. Well, that's good because I'll have HBO because of Game of Thrones yeah. too. Speaking of that, I don't mean to put you on the spot on the podcast, <laughs> but I kind of do. Are we doing a special thing for Game of Thrones? Are we gonna do episode by episode when that comes? Well, out? Well, there's only gonna be six episodes, right? I know, yeah. so we might as well. We right? might as well, yeah. Yeah, we have to. Because I don't know about you, but I love doing it last year. Yeah, or, it was awesome. Huh, yeah, almost I two years ago now, but. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. God, that was fun. Those Net- Game of Thrones episodes. Netflix acquired Zac Efron's Ted Bundy movie. Imagine that. I saw that for $9 million. Yep. So imagine that they're airing the Ted Bundy movie. Who mm-hmm. Did you know that the director of the documentary is the director of the Ted Bundy? You're kidding me. <laughs> I did not Amazing. know that. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So it almost seems like it's some big promotional thing right. that you all these think. movies are coming out, and then yeah. Netflix bought the own rights. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. So Netflix is going to make a lot of money off Ted Bundy. They will, yeah. A lot, a lot of, of money <laughs> off an evil, sadistic <laughs> yeah. fuck. That's a interesting. lot of money, and uh, people are already starting to complain about the Zac Efron movie. It just that. looks too campy for me, man. Like Apparently, the, what I read so it's over, like the way they the way they put the trailer up was like it was like a action packed movie. Like yeah, with the soundtrack. Again, I have a problem with how Ugh. how they make him out and how he's so fucking good looking and suave and everything. Yeah, when you think of Ted Bundy, the first thing that comes to your head should not be he was really good looking. <laughs> right, that should not be the first fucking right. thing that comes to your head, and that's what I think is coming to people's head when they start thinking about Ted Bundy now. Absolutely, because now yeah. you're going to think Ted Bundy, you're going to think Zac Efron, one of those fucking beautiful, <laughs> beautiful goddamn human yeah. beings. No kidding. So uh, yeah, but they're uh, they're making money off that serial killer. But he would Ted Bundy would love it if he was still around. He'd love to hear about all this commotion about him oh he would he would he love would it he was so it. egotistical he loved, he loved being the center of attention well you yeah. watch those ted bundy tapes they had hours of hundreds of hours of just audio recordings yeah. of him just talking about himself god he's such an asshole like he was yeah he definitely was like a giant narcissist tommy was so uh see the yes uh, rebooting the director jaws. of the room <laughs> rebooting jaws yeah that's what i've heard yeah called big, big shark. shark yeah big shark uh yeah and he is directing this, huh? He's directing and starring. Oh my, I cannot wait for this. Yeah. And I actually genuinely mean that. Like those movies that are so bad, they'll be good. He came out with another movie too. When that... does this come out? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Can New Orleans survive? So somehow they're bringing a shark into New Orleans. I'm Interesting. Not... Yeah. The B movies of all B movies. 
Oh, it's going to be so bad. You know it's going to make a lot of money, too. Because Tommy Wiseau has a cult following. No, he, he made a movie since The Room before Big Shark that did nothing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Yeah, that it was just Yikes. not even bad enough to be good. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but who knows? I'll probably go see Big Shark. These are the movies he should be making, though. He shouldn't yeah. be making serious. He should be making Big Shark, like Shark exactly. Tornado, Tornado or Sharknado. Yeah, Shark Tornado 11 or whatever it is. Yeah, those movies are awesome. Well, Cold Pursuit gives Liam Neeson worst opening weekend since 2010. Now, Cash, And what I you say, this. I would say it's probably his best movie since 2000. I haven't seen it, but yeah. what I'm seeing from mm-hmm. people is that it looks like it was his best movie since 2010, arguably. Yeah, he I hasn't been in great, I don't think. Yeah. yeah, I went and saw it yesterday, and I actually liked this movie. It was a very uh, dark humor kind yeah. of film. You uh, said it was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. I, I liked it a lot, actually. I want to go see it, although I'm moving off the Liam Neeson action movie train. Yeah, no kidding. Is but it really action-oriented? It's not. It's, it's not. It's, He's not a super badass? No, 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 no. Okay. Not at all. Um yeah, but it's more realistic. It's grounded. It is not what I expected at all. Because I went into it, all I heard was Liam Neeson, Cold Pursuit. And with like the tree on top of the car or whatever, yeah. or car on top of the tree. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be No, crazy. that's literally all I saw was movie. Liam Neeson, Cold Pursuit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, that's like Commuter. Right. All the Taken. Commuter, ins. that's the one. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't seen that yet. Either have I. And I, I quit watching Taken, Taken after on one. on a train. Uh, yeah, Taken on a train. <laughs> But uh, no, dude, it was actually a pretty good film. I'm gonna I liked see it. it. Dark I humor, it. totally different than what I expected. I do but like Liam. It was worth watching. There were some funny moments too. Some Would really it be moments. a Have you seen it podcast without bringing up Star Wars? <laughs> you know I, know I got some How Star Wars know? news for you. Oh yeah, go ahead. You know, oh, a possible leak of the new uh, title. Uh, right. Did you see what yeah. it was? Um, yeah, I did, but I forgot. It was Star Wars. Balance of, balance the force. of the force. So Star Wars was, yeah. Episode Nine, Balance yep. of the Force. Yeah, pretty generic. What do you think about it? I think it would yeah, go with rough. the last, the other two. I like force the Last Awakens Jedi. The, best. the Last Jedi. For well, it. the Force Awakens is a good title too. Yeah, I like both of them. Balance, Balance of the Force. That I mean, I if everyone's finally gonna up. die, then I guess it, it yeah. would end like that. But. Right. Yeah, but did you hear? Because I know I see you got the article there, but did you? So the the Knights of Ren. Yeah, we have to talk about this. In the outer, uh, the outer rim, but it's not the outer rim. It's like the. Um, so there's there's this big thing now yeah. where they're saying that it's the beyond. The beyond, yeah, the beyond. Mm-hmm. Because there's you, places in Star Wars that are undiscovered in the universe, right. or places that they're not allowed to go. It is the. It's the unknown regions. And apparently that's where the First Order went to kind of lick their wounds after they died. Right. And, they, and that's, that's where, where they went they, to yeah. those secret bases that but Palpatine But it's never really, those places have never really been shown very much, at least. No, they haven't. In movies or anything like that, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, primarily in the books. All I'm saying. Some it, of the books can and some of them yeah. not. So it's like, we don't even know, like the Knights of the All I'm saying Republic. is they don't show Knights of Ren in this one. I will physically scream at the at the movie screen well yeah I because mean, what was the point of them <laughs> instead i thought they were gonna be i thought for sure they'd be we'd get a taste of them so in, did in I. the last jedi yeah. nope but apparently they've been on a secret mission right yes a very which, secret which mission. they could easily that could definitely make sense yeah that and they come in at the end and they, yeah and they yeah. have something big or huge that they because to send them out there and to be gone for so long i mean Two movies, two movies worth. Right. Which is some time. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. It, it must be something big. So it must be, and to send all of them too. So it must be something. I just want to see these guys. But who's going to fight them at this point? Who do we got? Uh, who do we got left that could fight all nine Knights of Ren? Well, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, I, dude, I am just so confused of the way they're going to tie this up. Han Solo's gone. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, you know, Princess Leia passed away. Carrie Fisher, may she rest in peace. But not dead. And then, but not dead in the film. Not but dead I mean, in the film. also they have to use footage from yeah. uh, the Force Awakens to complete whatever mm-hmm. role she does. She's have definitely going to die right at the yeah. start. And then you know, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, he's dead as well. So it's like, how are we going to tie? Well, he's the... definitely going to be a Force Ghost. We're definitely going to be well, a right. Force Ghost. Yeah. Mark but Hamill. I mean, how do they tie in the Skywalker family? And and the the new era of Star Wars, like how are they going to tie? We're going to find in? out I who. Know. 
Rey you gotta is. have faith in Disney. I know, and this, they, they always tell great this stories. This is the Skywalker but... trilogy, so it's gonna end somehow into tying it all up. So Skywalker is gonna is gonna live on somehow. But how they're gonna do it, who knows? It's J.J. Abrams. He's finishing it. If it, if anyone can do it, it would be him. Hopefully. I really did enjoy the Force Awakens, so yeah. I think uh, I think I think he can do it. I have and faith God, in how him. much experience does he have in sci-fi? <laughs> he does. Star Trek's too. Yeah. I'm just like, geez. You know, you're gonna see some lens flares. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He loves. Well, the, we yeah. maybe just put a little <laughs> yeah. fish yeah. line. <laughs> it's a little secret. Yeah. Michelle Rodriguez still hasn't signed on for Fast and Furious Nine yet. Wow. What is she holding out for? She probably wants a payday. She's Can probably, you blame she's her? She's got to be paid, already getting paid a shit ton. Oh, probably, yeah. Well, she's one of the faces of the franchise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's died, I think, multiple times in it, hasn't she? <laughs> Don't <laughs> they always bring her up? Don't they yeah. always bring her back or something? Somehow, some way. Isn't that something that really does happen? I can't remember. And God, don't even get me going, because I went to go see Cold Pursuit, and I had to sit there and watch the Fast and Furious Hans and Shab, or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> Hobbs and Shab, yeah. Yeah, not Hans and Shab. Hans and Shab. To Han Solo's in yeah. it. Okay. Harrison Ford. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I can't wait to review that. Now, bits of it looks funny. Like, I, I just hope, it, as long as they don't take themselves too serious, man. What about this? According to the producer, the Avatar sequels will be standalone movies. Really? So, so Avatar 2 is a standalone film? That's what I'm reading right now, yeah. Well, it's, that might be interesting. Isn't that weird? So they'll all be separate stories, which could be cool. But, I mean, how many different stories can be on that planet? Uh, maybe it's world building. Maybe they're just going to build an entire world out of avatars. That'd be my only guess, man. I do not know where this movie is going. <laughs> I cannot. I don't Dude, even I have tell the you. I don't slide. even know. It's no been idea. ten years. It's so weird to me that there have four more sequels coming out. And they've invested a shit ton of money in the Avatar Land and Disney World. Yeah, Disneyland. So it's like they might. They obviously have huge plans for it, but we'll see. They did. They are holding out though on what four, five, and six until the Fox deal gets signed, but. That'll get signed, so. Yeah, it's saying everything is on. They're sticking with the planet Pandora. So, it's got to be more on I guess. I don't know. I, are the Navi still going to be? Is there other races of aliens on that planet? I kind of figured they were the main race. Yeah, I think they're the only <laughs> race. Did we see any other races? I mean, no, there was animals, you know, but no oh, yeah, other tribes or anything. Yeah. I look forward to it. I guess. I look forward to shitting on it if it's bad. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, man. You know what? I wasn't a huge Power Rangers fan when I was younger because I was not allowed to watch it. But <laughs> I'm kind of excited remember. about the new Power Rangers movie. Why? I don't they, know. They already I like the first one. one. They were, the the yeah, new one you I did? Liked it. Oh, yeah. I never watched it. I liked it. It was decent. You know, I, It was definitely made for kids, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. I liked Power Rangers. I didn't see that movie. You weren't allowed to watch Power Rangers? No. Because it was... Fighting, yeah, but dude. My parents were like hardcore back then. It ridic- sucked. Yeah, what were they protecting was, uh, you from? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> you know, the, God wor- knows the world was just gonna shit on it you, did. anyways. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park three uh, storyline blew Chris Pratt away. Doesn't he say that for everyone? He literally <laughs> says that for everything. Yeah. So, and and I don't even know if I can believe him anymore after well, the Lost World or whatever the hell. I'm not, not the Lost him World. At what was it called? Sure. Uh, Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. What's he gonna say? God, it was horrific. It was Is terrible. he gonna come out and say Jurassic World three total shit? <laughs> yeah, that's true. What are you gonna do? Market that? Yeah. Market it like that? I really don't. Yeah, I don't trust his opinion at this point. Yeah, sorry, Chris, but uh, yeah, kind of blew it with the second one. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> you lost us all. Man, that was horrible. Oh man, I did not like. Uh, what was it called? The Last Kingdom, Lost Kingdom. The 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 Lost Kingdom. No, no, Kingdom Fallen. Yeah, that was it. Or Fallen Kingdom. Fallen, Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. yeah. The Lost Kingdom is a Jurassic Park two. The Lost Kingdom. That's the second one. No, that's the Lost World. The Lost World. Yeah, the lost right. World. Yeah. Man, all these fucking taglines, I can't... Uh, too many. Too many. <laughs> it's too too damn confusing. New poster for Pet Cemetery. Did you see that? Dude, I am so stoked for Pet Cemetery. I love the book. It is one of my favorite Stephen King books of all time. I'm still stoked for a good horror movie. It's been a while oh, since... I know. We got a new one since Halloween. Yep. And I think it's going to be good. 
I've got high expectations it's for got Pet a Cemetery. Good, it's got a good cast. John it's got Lithgow. A great cast. I love John Lithgow. Yeah. That book is fucking frightening. So it is. It, it, they oh can do God. it right. Yeah. It's got all the scary elements in it. It's, it's yeah, it's terrible. Scary little dead kids walking around. Not good. All kinds of weird shit. Weird rituals, weird burial grounds. I don't, you know, all the shit that keeps you up at night. I don't trust kids. I don't trust it's kids in the first pet cemetery. place. Let alone them being the undead. I don't like it. No. I don't like it one bit. No, thank you. Don't <laughs> sign me up for that shit. Oh. Uh, what else? Is there anything other, any other movie news that we have to talk about? Did you see any other trailers? No, I saw... No, I saw the Shaft trailer. Did you see that? What the hell is that about? Damn it, you never saw the movie The Shaft with uh, uh, nope. Samuel Jackson? Oh. No, I didn't. Well, there's a new one coming out. Great. When he's got him and his son and an old man. I don't I don't know. Well, you know, I always Shaft go see fans. that. What a, uh, Paramount pulls the plug on David Fincher's World War Z sequel. You know, I saw that. that? And I don't really care. <laughs> If I'm being honest. Well, man. I didn't care about World War Z, but the fact that David Fincher was attached to it, I would go see anything. He's my favorite director right, right. now of all time, so I just want anything David Fincher. And and it was David Fincher and Brad Pitt, mm. so you know it was going to be good. Yeah, it would have been decent. And the World War Z should have been better. That that 100% had, they had the material for it, but that movie just was shit. And it, it was did, plagued yeah. by reshoots. A lot of reshoots that movie had. Oh, yeah. because yeah. I remember seeing that the in theaters, most of it, and I, I was think. like, ugh, this is just not my No, it, was not, it should not have been PG-13 or anything, but yeah. So no David Fincher film. I'm pretty pissed about. You know, I'm actually looking forward to films in 2019 in general, dude. We've got a lot of good ones coming up. There's a some good ones. of good movies. Aladdin. Got Aladdin. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> uh, uh. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel looks good. Dumbo. Dumbo's a month away, man. A month and a half away. I cannot wait to review that. Us is coming out March 14th. March, we've got a few good movies. And in April, we've got a lot of good movies. That's good because we haven't had shit for... Uh, I know. It's been rough for us, hasn't it? February. February is always a slow one. Some of these slow-ass movies. Yeah. No, and no. then April comes. And we've got Hellboy. Hellboy. Pet Cemetery. Avengers, Avengers, Shazam. We are getting spoiled. Are you kidding me or what? Project X. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the X Special Forces. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's about it for... Uh, yeah, that's about it for April. That's about it for April. But hey, that's, movies. that's... Yeah, three that's four movies. or five yeah. good movies. One, two, three, four. What's... Uh, what's uh, what do we got after April? What's in May? Is there anything anything good? Let us check. Oh, Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin, of course. John, John Wick 3. Wick. Rocket Man, the new one with Terry Edgeman, where he's playing. Oh, I want to see he's that. Playing out in John, I yeah. want to see that. And then Godzilla, That's King of the one I'm That most, was the, yeah. that was a trailer I wanted to bring up to you. Have you seen the latest trailer, or the one that they're playing in theaters right now? Uh, yeah, I saw, I've seen the newest. It one. looks pretty good. Oh, I'm fucking. It looks pretty good, man. It looks amazing. Normally, yeah. I'm not really into these giant monsters, what? but the last Godzilla, Godzilla was awesome. Good. I like Kong Island too. Or Kong was good. Yeah, Kong, Kong Island. Island. Yeah. yeah. I'm. Oh, I'm. I, this that's one of my most anticipated movies of 2019 is Godzilla for sure. Cannot wait for it. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Minecraft. Movie? Minecraft the movie. Please stop. <laughs> what? What are we doing here? What are we fucking doing here, man? <laughs> is it live action? That looks like a human hand. That is. That the can it can't be real. I don't think. I don't trust <sighs> it. I haven't seen anything about that. Yeah, neither have I. I hope that's just fake. The Lego Movie Three, Lego Movie Two just came yeah, out. Yeah, it just came out. This what, is some weird is side you're on. Yeah, get off this bullshit. That's false news. We do not spread false news we on don't. this show. That no, is one no fake, thing. No call fake it, news. Yeah, I was gonna we say, call the do we Donald call it Trump false roll. news or <laughs> fake news? <laughs> no, we will call it fake news. It's all fake news. Well, is there anything else, Mason? Nothing really. Kind of a slow week. It is. In movie news. Uh, I didn't hear very much gossip. I don't have any new gossip for you. No, neither do I. I don't know who. Oh, I heard Brad Pitt snuck into. Uh... What's his ex wife's name? Jennifer Aniston. I heard he snuck into her 50th birthday. No. I don't know if he was. Awkward. I don't know was if it was to surprise. Or something? 
like, you know, I don't this think, is a good idea. I think they're I think they're still friends or something. Oh yeah, I'm so sure. They I'm are. sure it was to surprise her or something. But yeah. Like, she's turning fifty. She turned fifty. Dude, she looks incredible for fifty. She is aging backwards. She is. She's like fine wine. Yes. The older she gets, she just looks better. Hey, I don't mind an older woman, Cash. But uh she can't keep a husband, really. No, she can't. <laughs> no, uh, I'm most, not sure what the deal most is. Most <laughs> actors slash actresses cannot. Yeah, because majority of actors are fucked up individuals. That's that's in somewhat, some way or another. Yeah, there's some good ones out there though. Tom, uh, there are. Tom Hanks has stayed with his wife for a very long time. That's true, but Tom Hanks is a special human being, and that's why he's Tom Hanks. That's true. He is Tom. Seriously, Hanks. that's true. He's America's uncle. Yep. Lando getting an extended cameo for Star Wars. That's it. That's what I heard. An extended cameo. Why doesn't he star in 9? Can we get Lando <laughs> to literally be one of the stars in Episode 9? We didn't get to see him in 7. We didn't get to see him in 8. Can, can, we, can he get some screen time in 9? He will. Please. get an extended cameo. We'll probably what does get... an extended cameo mean? It's that means cameo longer that's... than 5 minutes? Yeah. It's... Okay, good. <laughs> Which probably means 10 minutes. Yeah, because uh, aren't they like counting this at like 2.50 or something? Two hours, or no, that's that's Avengers is almost three hours long. That's nuts. According to reports, yeah. <laughs> that's such a long time to be sandwiched in between two nerds. I'm just going to buy two seats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy four and lay I'm getting down. so fat, I need to buy two <laughs> seats these days. <laughs> I'm going to buy at the theater. I can just watch it by myself. We should, uh, we should one day. That'd be fun. Just the two of us. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> It'd be a lot of money. It would be. It'd be worth it, though. Yeah, I'm 100% worth it. Well, that's all I got, Mace. That's all I got, too, Cash. I, I, we talked about the genie. We did. Hate it. Not oh, a fan. Oh, did you see the trial? We'll talk about one more thing. Child's Play trailer. Did you see the trailer for I it? I still haven't seen it, no. It looks not bad. Aubrey Plaza's in it. I. What did I tell you last looks, week? I said, give it a chance, Cash. It looks, give it a chance. Well, you didn't see the last Child's Play that literally came out like a year ago. It but wasn't the, that but long we're ago. we're seeing this common theme when these movies are being made, when, when good people... Except the when original Child's team, Play wasn't good. <laughs> I mean, it was neither was the original Halloween. Yes, Come it on. was. The original Halloween got amazing reviews when it came out. It yeah. has like a ninety. The original Child's Play, I think, probably has a twenty percent Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> There's not. I mean, the original Halloween got rave yeah, that's reviews. True. It, it was, was actually, like the first slasher. Right. Yeah, but it was made for like a shoestring budget. Oh yeah, it was a very small budget. That's more or less what I meant by that. But yeah, good point. It, it was a good movie. It was yeah. a great film. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Damn it. Okay, so the original Child Play has a 67% Ron <laughs> It's not horrible. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. But, uh, but yeah. But all the other ones after that? Probably not. Oh. Yeah, no, no that's rough. It's rough. I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of them, surprisingly. I've definitely seen Bride of Chucky. And that yeah. one got weird. It was a little odd. There's some dolls fucking in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one. It was, it was odd. It was yeah, strange. But they don't, they don't actually show, or they don't show Chucky in the trailer. Which I kind of like what they're they doing. They don't. They show him kind of just a bit, but they never show. They kind of see him middling around somewhere. The like big a... thing was Chucky's, Chuck, the voice actor who plays Chucky was, a, I mean, that was a huge part of it. If you don't know the story, Chucky was a serial killer who right. got killed and in a he, toy store. Yeah. And, and then, then he, he took transformed on, yeah. into a doll. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I wonder who's playing his voice. He's like a I'm smoker's, sure IMDb he's got a tell, smoker's yeah. voice. But Aubrey Plaza, I'm excited about that. I'm always down for that. If the internet would uh, not suck. Yeah, hey, we're running on dial up down here. Uh, I think it's due to the snow, man. I'm going to blame it on the weather. Snow beginning? But they don't even have it on here for the voice. Yeah, maybe he doesn't talk. I will be very upset if he doesn't. Yeah, talk. if he doesn't his talk. Quips, his quips are what makes him. Yeah. He's funny. He's, that's what. That's the whole thing. But it does look very dark, so maybe they're going a different route with yeah, that. Yeah, maybe that's just no talking, just a killing yeah. doll. <laughs> Which is weird. I don't know. I, I know, prefer why dialogue. Not? Yeah, no. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'll watch it, though. I don't yeah. know if it's coming out of theaters or not. Hopefully not. Showgirls. Ooh. All right. Well, should we close this? Should we wrap this yeah, one up? Yeah, let's wrap this one up. Uh, you guys can find us on YouTube. Type in HYSI 116. That This is episode 116, Movie News. Uh, you can find us on Spotify. Type in Have You Seen It? 
We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Google Play, Stitcher, anywhere where you can find podcasts. That is where we are. Uh, Cash is on Twitter. Oh, yeah. That's just Cash. I'm definitely on Twitter. Uh, our, our Twitter page has seen a podcast. Uh, Instagram, have you seen it? I think I covered it. Yeah. We got a Facebook now. We got a Facebook, too. Oh, yeah. Go go like our Facebook. Almost up to 100 likes. We got 80 likes within 24 hours, that which is, is really pretty awesome. Pretty good. It's not too bad. Not too bad. So uh, thank you guys yeah. for listening, and until next time. Uh, goodbye.